Can I do her? Yeah, say in the picture. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Peace Ray Show. Today, I am going to a restaurant because it's lunch. This is so annoying. This reminds me of AMA. A, a what? ASMR. ASMR. Peace is ASMR. We are on our way to a restaurant. This is Yasmina. Hi. That's how close to my face. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go. I hate these stupid masks, but we have to follow the rules. I want to live in Hawaii or New York because both of them are pretty places and they're fun. Today we are doing photo shoot stuff. Peace has been on my head about vlogging. So here we are with my thank you with thank my six-year-old that keeps pressing me on things that the world keeps pressing me on as well. We just got a new office, something new and exciting in our world. Cheers. I will be watching um, Full House. Okay, did you pray over your food, daughter? Oh, not yet. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. So we got lasagna. We have our wine. Okay, can you say a prayer for everybody? Yes. We got the food. Thank you for staying. Amen. 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 Good morning. So this is us in a school morning. Um, Peace typically takes a shower at nighttime because it just makes it easier on everybody in the morning. So she's here eating fruit. She's not a big breakfast person. Say good morning. Good morning. She's not a really big breakfast person, but Zen is on the other hand. And Zen is also the grouchiest little human being in the morning it's like ridiculous he screams at everybody so he is in the other one with my grandmother and me and my grandmother have a deal to where when zen is like tripping in the morning she'll take him as long as i make her a cup of coffee so that's what i'm doing is i'm packing lunch and making both of the kids breakfast and making coffee and making myself tea all at the same time <laughs> The grouchiest kid in the world hey. is in Matthew McNeil. Say good morning. Morning. We are on our way to the grocery store. We're gonna drop off kids to school. Wait a second, Zin. And we're going to the grocery store. What are you doing? Reading. Now I can. Tell walk. them about your reading. What? Like what you do in the morning? Well, I get dressed and do all my stuff. And then I eat breakfast and then in the car I go and read. Peace off. Bye, I'm going to school. Uh oh, pick up your lunch bill. <laughs> Silly girl. Trader Joe's is one of my favorite places to get flowers because they're super inexpensive. I typically get carnations because they last a lot longer, but I think I want to treat us to do something different like these really cute colorful daisy bears because Ben always wants fruit inside of the store and I always give it to him because it's rather I give him the fruit or y'all all gonna hear him screaming. He's just like, Mom, you can't do that. I'm like, yes, you can. We're just going to pay for it at the front. Didn't your mom used to do that? That's salmon. we got all kinds of stuff. Um, Zen has his cookies. Let me see your cookies, Papa. <laughs> On Tuesdays is the day that I don't have help with Zen. Um, my nanny is not available. So Tuesdays, I kind of make it my day to like catch up on stuff and just do like house stuff like mama stuff you know so grocery shopping laundry running errands for the house paying bills all of those things i try to do on tuesday i'm gonna pull up and get a coffee because that is something that i always do i'm going to one of my favorite little coffee shops it's really cute i'm always very inspired when i come in here because i want to have a really cute mindful fee coffee shop like this one day so yeah we're about to come in here and get some coffee and i'll probably bust open these cookies for him because i'm trying to hear his mouth okay. Okay. something about a busy mom getting her coffee it just like it's the experience i will literally not go back to a coffee yeah. shop if they're rude or like not pleasant in the morning can you stop please leaving the grocery store we did trader joe's i'm going to show you guys everything that we bought Okay, so I forgot my stand at the office, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from the grocery store because I got some bomb stuff that I wanted to share. So I went to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is always a very cost-efficient place to go, especially 
if you do have multiple kids um, or a big family, whatever, that's my favorite place to go. A lot of fruit. Lots of fruit. I always get a shitload of fruit because the kids go through it. Chicken nuggets, super easy to throw in the air fryer for them. I wanted to try this new salmon. It's salmon with lemon herb butter. So I get them fruit. I get them the cut up fruit because don't anybody have time to be cutting up big old melons and stuff? We're gonna try out this new pizza dough from Trader Joe's. This one is the garlic herb pizza dough. We're gonna make that tonight. He's gonna be so excited. And then we just have the pizza sauce that I saw. Some mozzarella cheese. This is our favorite oatmeal. It's so good. If you like chewy oatmeal, still cut oatmeal is really good. I put a little bit of butter, a little bit of honey. Sometimes I put fresh fruit in there. Sometimes I put nuts in there if I want it to be like a little bit more hard. Almond croissants. These are amazing. This is chimichurri rice. It's a Peruvian style rice. I will sometimes make this and then I'll just like saute some shrimp. It's really good. It's a little bit spicy, but it's fire. Some of these mac and cheese dinners, something super easy. For me, convenience is like everything. <laughs> to drinks, I am a sucker for drinks. I like random drinks all the time. So this is sparkling ginger and lemon apple cider vinegar beverage. Really good. And then this one is the same thing, but it's lemon and strawberry. These little like applesauce things. I'm trying to talk low so he doesn't see me. These little applesauce things, very easy for like on the go as well. Butter cookies, shortbread butter cookies. My favorite with like hot tea. Kids love dry fruit. I, they love these like Fuji apple slices. They're freezer dried. It's basically like moon food. I love dry fruit. Um, especially spicy dry fruit. These pineapple ones are so fire. They have like this spicy seasoning, so damn good. Granola bars, coconut cooking spray. The rest is just like fruits, vegetables. Um, how cute. This is the kitchen arrangement that I just did. Super cute. And then this one is my bedroom one. It's my booty vase, which I absolutely love. I'll show you the bathroom one. But the fridge is now popping and organized and fresh. Nothing like a full ass fridge. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, we are going to make what? Let me have pizza you. What are you about to make? Homemade pizza. Homemade from pizza scratch. from scratch. Well, it's like kind of from scratch. So this is the Trader Joe's one I was telling you guys about. It's garlic and herb. They tell you to have it sit out for like six to seven minutes before. So we're about to do that. And we're about to come up in here. We're about to get cheese. I got some pizza season. I don't know what the heck this is. But then these two are mozzarella. Oh shoot, okay. And then, so we got that. And then we also have some pizza sauce. And then I'm gonna add some like little seasonings, whatever. Um, okay, so first it's asking us to put some of this. Please keep that still. So it says to lightly flour. We already um, let this sit out, and then now we're taking the pizza sauce, and you guys are just literally gonna rub it on there. Zen needs to not think that this is, um, he can just eat it like that. Okay. It's true, guys. Y'all can already tell. See? Look at him. My baby! No, it's not ready. What's wrong, baby? <laughs> baby, we have to put it in the thing. <laughs> this is what we gotta do. Okay, now we're gonna use the cheese. No, no, no. Here, take some piece. Okay. Just sprinkle it on there. You wanna sprinkle some on there, Papa? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, grab a little bit of cheese. Watch, oh, you about to eat it. I knew it. I knew it, bro. I know my son. <laughs> what you mean, mmm? Put it on the pizza, boy. <laughs> Dang. It's yeah. always one person oh eating God. this stuff. Like, it's always one person, like if you're making a cake or something, it's always one person that always gotta be dipping their finger in a little batter. That's it. Okay. You think it's ready? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Wanna see? Yeah. Okay, be careful though, it's hot. Let's see. Oh my God. Oh, baby. <laughs> Please come look at this pizza. Oh. I bet you it's fire though. It's fire. It's gonna be fire. Watch. Yeah, I hope it's, <laughs> well, I mean, the bottom ain't burnt. Gee, it's fire. I just hope it's like cooked all the way through because look, there's like layers to this shit. Yeah. It smells fire, you guys. My it's probably fire. Plate. Wait, thank you, baby, for my plate, my dirty bowl. Thank you. Hi. 
It's hot. Hi. Hi. Pizza ready. Pizza ready. Pizza is ready. Mmm. It's good? It's hot. It's hot, yeah. Mmm, mmm, it hurts. It's good? My elbows hurt. Huh? My elbows hurt. Hmm? My elbows hurt. It's delicious? Yeah. Y'all didn't eat, y'all didn't pray over your food. Okay. Say a prayer over your food. Go. Amen. Good boy. Amen. Good. This bomb. Peace Bear, she's such an excellent student, you guys. Her teacher sent this. She said, Peace excelled in the month of February. She can easily read and write the spelling words and has gained more confidence with our new math concepts. Peace continues to be a wonderful friend and a hard worker. She also continues to share her love for reading. This month, Peace will continue to work on her writing and more challenging math skills. Keep up the good work. Oh, this is so sweet. And it's like all Peace's stuff. Um... It's interesting. My baby be writing a lot of her letters backwards. So we've been working on that. Like the five should write backwards, the S's should write backwards, the P's, the D's, the B's, all that stuff is backwards. I don't know if that's like what typical kids do, but I don't really stress on it because, uh, yeah, I just don't stress on it. Like, So now we are at my office and <laughs> it feels so surreal to be saying that. I love it. Um, so we are going to, well not we, Yasmina's dad is going to paint um, two of our walls and we're going to get like a really cool neon sign that says Mindful Fee and we're really, really excited. So I had to leave Zen with grandma because Zen was tripping today and I was like, mm, yeah, I'm about to ruin my day. I got shit to do. And um, so now we're going to see, I got two paint samples and we're going to see if the ones that I chose um, will be good. We're gonna do kind of like not monochromatic, but like a two-toned situation. Um, one is gonna be like the mindful fee mint green, and then we're gonna do a different type of mint green. So we're excited. I'm going to show you guys right now which one. Yeah, so we're gonna try this color. If I had no nails, I would be able to just dip. But this time I need to be careful because nothing made a mess over there. So. Ew. So it'd be that next to that. It would basically be this. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, that's super. Cool. If, so if we're practicing here. Cursive. If I my entire name. Mm -hmm. I don't Bro, do the just fact wrong. that you just did all those. <laughs> this is our favorite song in the whole entire world. Literally, it's our mood. You know? Probably dancing here. I just got to my brother Frank's and we are doing production stuff. I'm so nervous, but I'm also so excited. I always get really nervous before collections, but this is production day and yeah, these are our screens. Thanks. I'm not stealing. You told me to pull it. And you bullied me into pulling Look it. Look how pretty these are. So gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> because the design came out super dope 
And I was really nervous because we were just like, oh my god, we've never done something like this. We've never done something where there's like so many layers in it. And the coloring, we were just like really nervous. But it ended up coming out so dope. It came out better than what I designed it. Especially because I changed the color at the last minute, which is very typical of me to do, is like change my mind at the very last minute. But it's such a good decision. I love it. It's not too girly. It's just like perfect. And then it's a statement because you can see it, you know, as you're walking down the street. Like somebody could be like, oh shit, woman are magic, you know? Everything is a statement piece. Everything is created with intention. Booyah! With intention for you to know that as women, we are the shit. We're going to figure it out. Because that's what we do. It's so tight. It's so tight. It's perfect. You know your voice. It's so tight. It's so tight. Let me show you guys. Oh, it's so good. Look.